It's your dude, Ferg. We doing it big with Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. Come on, about to make this drink. Got some ice back here. Got some, got some hibiscus tea. But, <laughs> hey, I ain't being mic'd up. Yeah. <laughs> What's good? This is Noah from High Snob, and as you can see, today we are here with legend in the making, ASAP Ferg. Oh man. What's going on, man? Pleasure to meet you, man. So what are we doing today? We're gonna make my drink. It's called the Uptown, because I'm from Uptown, Harlem. And um, I teamed up with Hennessy, and we, we came up with these dope flavors. I told them that, uh, you know, this drink had to be special since I'm calling it Uptown. For sure. So uh, we have Hennessy, of course. This is the ingredients. We have the hibiscus tea. Uh, so there's two ounces of Hennessy, three ounces of hibiscus tea. We have cinnamon syrup, which adds the sweetness to it. And then we have bitters. You know, nice. it adds a different like texture and layer to the flavor. And then, uh, you know, we uh, throw a little bit of the sweetener, cassis, in there along with the lemon and the chipotle rim, um, which gives it a little bit of spice, adds on to the, the textures and the flavors to it. Which is really good to your palate. Yeah. So I just want to get to making it so you can get to taste it. And you, um, you like help with all the flavors and everything, and yeah. Sure it so was right. basically, this is what happened. I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of chefs and culinary arts. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you know, I, I watch Netflix, yeah. Chef Table all That's the like time. That's like my favorite thing too. Yeah. So um, I'm interested in how they make these different things, and it's deeper than just like you know throwing something in a pan or just like mixing something just because you think it's like there's different flavors that go with other flavors well yeah. that we wouldn't even think about. Yeah, I just told them what I, I liked it to basically taste. Yeah. And they linked me up with a mixologist and we made it happen. Yeah. So you'd say that like uh, you're kind of a connoisseur a little bit? Uh, I, I haven't gotten to the point of being a connoisseur. But you're like on your way there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's get started, man. Cool. So we got a, a cup prepared for you already. It's nice and cold. You can touch it. It's cold. You shook it up already. It's cold. Um, the Hennessy goes in first. Dope. So uh, what do you think like the best time to have one of these is? Um, have you ever, ever been to Harlem? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, you have to go to Harlem and have one of these. Yeah. You know, that's what's dope. So um, summertime, Harlem, the pump is on. Yeah. Uh, we might have to stop by the Gucci store, Without see Dapper Dan. You know, we Without might have to uh, go to Marcus Samuelson's spot. Those should Grand be served Rooster. at the opening. That's a fact. Yeah, right? That's a fact. I'm getting you right, man. Man. So, um, you drink often? Or like, you know, in the studio to get right? Or what's like your process? Uh, my process is really just like, you know, um, Definitely have a, a bottle of Hennessy in the studio, yeah. just for vibes and, and sipping. And there's always family coming through and, and friends. Uh, what else is a part of your process besides maybe like you know some Hennessy? You have any other like rituals that you do? I like to DJ for everybody in oh, the really? studio, actually. So I, I play a bunch of songs and vibes that I have in mind, and songs that just make me feel good. It kind of get me in the spirit to like go. It like warms me up. Like we get the. We play like a bunch of old music, yeah. like some like it's mainly like old stuff, older, you know, hip hop and R and B uh, and neo soul and electronic music, retro electronic and yeah. just different vibes. That's dope. Yeah, I like to see what people do because I remember I heard Jadakiss. Jadakiss, shout out to Jadakiss. I love Jadakiss, man. He was like, One he was of my like, favorite rappers. he can't, he can't rap until he sweeps the entire studio. Well, an interesting um, method I seen was Jim Jones. Really? He sleeps, and I'm like, yo, um, he's sleeping. Yeah. Then he's like, he's writing. Really? And what? Like, Word. And so he, he'll sleep, you'll dead see him like this, eyes closed, and then he'll go in the booth and record the whole song. What? I swear to God. I'm like, yo, why don't you say that you do this? So, you know, to keep it on music, um, still striving. Yeah. It's still striving. still hot. Yeah, we still striving, man. Also, you let your fans know that you're working on a new tape. Yeah, new yeah. album. New new album. 
And uh, you you dropped Family recently, yeah. which is a super fly song. Did you get a chance to listen to it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course, sure. man. Also, for those who don't know, man, he painted this himself, man. Super facts. Which is super dope. Thank you. So, you know um, how big that actual painting is? Oh, really? Life? It's huge, like this. Like, big, like the size of me. So you paint often? I don't paint often. Yeah. I want to paint more. I'm actually getting in, like, getting into it more. Like, I have, like, some more time. I'm not traveling as much as I was. Yeah. You know, if I'm traveling, it's more for pleasure. Like, yeah. to get inspired, going to museums and, you know, places like Argentina where they got dope oh, art and, and good leather spots. Great leather. Yeah, great leather. Great leather. Argentina has fantastic leather. Yeah. But, yeah, just, like, kind of, like, stimulating my mind and just getting inspired. So, um... Yeah, I've been getting into painting and art more. So can we maybe in the future see like a Ferg art show? I definitely would love to do that with Hennessy. Um, we've been in talks about it, me curating something cool. That'd be super fly. Yeah. Serve that town. It's going to be dope, but I don't want to put the pressure on you can't You can't uh, put the pressure on great art. You, yeah. know, you just got to let it happen. So uh, with family, it's a very, um, it's very special. Yeah. You know, it feels. Um, when you make a song about family, you pretty much know what you're going to talk about because it's facts. Right. Does that make it easier or harder to make it sound fly? It's easier but harder because I'm speaking about real situations. Yeah. So I have to deal with the aftermath and I kind of got to calculate, all right, do I really want to put this line in this song because yeah. I know I'm going to hear from my mom or hear from like... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that usually happens because all my, my music is real. So how did you get into this beast mode where you just dropped Still Striving and now you're working on your new tape? Like, how am did I, you get into this Am phase? I in beast mode? That's what you think? I think you're in beast mode. No? Wow. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm just in my zone. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know I was in beast mode. I think so. Thank you. For sure, man. All right, man. Well, I'm going to try this. Cheers, T man. Tell, tell me how you feel about that. And man. thank you, man. I appreciate this. I appreciate you. Yeah, make sure you get that hit. Yeah, there you go. It's a bog. Uh. And that zing. Yeah, that's the zing right there. I like that the zing. The zing going zing for a little minute, too. The zing, the zing is the whole zing, for real, man. <laughs> Thank the you. Zing man. with a little bit of sweet background. I appreciate you, man. A little pinky action to do that, too. Oh, come on, you already know.